Hi friends, in this video, I will show you how to invest in the US Treasury bonds and notes, which are now providing 5-6% to annualized return due to the high interest rate environment and your return is 100% guaranteed by the US government. But before you do that, it's important to understand the basics of US Treasuries, which is a form of bond issued by the US Treasury Department, basically a way for investors like us to lend money to the US government and in return, you get paid interest. Pretty simple, right? So in general, there are three types of US treasuries. One, treasury bills or T-bills. Two, treasury notes or T-notes. And three, treasury bonds or T-bonds. And they are generally differentiated by their debt to maturity period. T-bills are often known as short-term bonds and hence it has a maturity period of one year or less. T-notes are medium-term bonds that take between two and 10 years to mature. And lastly, T-bonds have the longest lifetime and can take up to 30 years to mature. And like I've said earlier, the best thing about treasuries is that they are unconditionally backed by the full faith and credit of the US government, which means there's technically no risk at all unless the US government collapses or defaults on their debt. As long as you hold them to maturity, you are guaranteed to take back what you invest plus additional interest. So generally, there are two ways that you can buy and invest into US treasuries, either through the official US Treasury Direct website or through an online broker. The official website is, however, open only to those with US Social Security Number SSN. So the best alternative to that would be to invest in treasuries through an online broker. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I will show you how to do it via Interactive Brokers, one of the most reputable and well-regulated broker in and outside of the US which has been and still is my favourite online broker of all time. If you still don't have an account with them, then I highly recommend you to check them out in the pinned comment down below. Trust me, you will not regret opening an account with them. Oh yeah, before I forgot, do note that the basic unit of US treasuries that we can buy through an online broker are usually in denominations of $1,000 which means at the very least, you need about 1,000 USD in order to trade them. And nope, there are no fractional shares or odd lot for them, just in case you're wondering. So now that we know the basic unit is at 1,000 US dollar, the easiest way to understand bond prices is to add a zero to the price quoted in the market. For example, if a bond is quoted at 99 in the market, the price is $990 for every $1,000 of face value and the bond is said to be trading at a discount. But if the bond is trading at $101, it costs $1,000 and ten dollars for every one thousand dollars of face value and the bond is said to be trading at a premium sounds cool let's dive right into the interactive brokers platform first of all you need to obtain permission to trade bonds on your ibk account search for request trading permission and click in and you will see all the products that they offer and under the bond section click request mine looks different because i've done it before obviously then you'll be asked to select the locations you wish to trade the bonds you can select all if you like to keep your option open and click continue and it should show your request to change trading permission was submitted and if you see this Good job. and you can proceed to the next step now some of you might encounter this based on the basic information you have provided in your financial profile you do not currently meet the criteria to trade product but no worries all you have to do is to change your profile in the account settings click the blue highlighted words or simply search for configure financial information comma legal residence and now you should be able to update or change your income and net worth data mark them up a little bit more than what you have now so you can copy what i have here then scroll down until the investment experience section and under bonds you can mark up the numbers as well and from my experience i choose two years of experience and 11 to 25 trades per year and extensive knowledge then repeated the get permission step and i was approved almost immediately after changing my profile there are also cases that the changes in financial profile take time to be processed so if you do face this give it some time to make changes then try again or if it still doesn't go through just talk to their live chat support and i'm sure they'll be able to help you from there onwards it is also possible that you will be asked to attend a tutorial that teaches you about bonds and a small test afterward but it is no big deal just take your time and know a little bit more about what you are buying before diving head first into them and now that you have the permission to trade the next step is to search for the right bond look for the research button at the 
top and under the drop down menu here, select the bond scanner. At this page, you can filter out some criteria of bonds that you would like to have. First, select US Treasuries. Then you can choose the issue date and the maturity date. Say I put February 21st, 2023 until February 21st, 2024, exactly one year. And I scroll down and click View Result. You will then be shown with a list of United States Treasury Government Bill with their quotes. And here's how to read a typical quote. Maturity refers to the date that you can take back your principal. If it is a 1,000 US dollar bill, then you should be able to take back the full 1,000 US dollars by the time it reaches the maturity date. And next, the bid yield represents the interest rate that the buyer wants to be paid for the bond. The ask yield, on the other hand, represents the interest rate the seller is willing to sell you at. And since the coupon rate is generally fixed, the lower yield usually means higher price. And of course, we as investors want to buy at the highest yield possible for the better return, right? Okay, now back to the list. Notice that the August 17, 2023 here refers to the maturity date. You can also check the closing price, bid and ask yield, bid and ask price and so on. I will click the first option here just to show you all how to actually buy them. So in order to buy a bond, click the buy button here. Then you can set the quantity at the thousand face value column. So do take note that if you put one and your price limit is $97.63, it actually means $976.30 since the minimum purchase via a broker is $1,000. And time in force, I will just leave it as day, but that's just my personal preference. Then simply click the submit buy order button down here and you are good to go. The process is pretty much like buying a stock, except that fractional shares are not allowed here. And commissions wise, interactive broker Brokers will charge you a fee of 0.002% times face value or 5 US dollar, whichever is higher. But for most of us here, unless you trade over $250,000 worth of US treasuries, you will almost always be paying the flat 5 US dollar fee plus a little bit of regulatory fee here and there which are usually negligible in value. So that is all you need to know to get your hands on the US treasuries. But just before I wrap this up, this video wouldn't be a complete Z video if there are no mentions of the applicable taxes that you need to be aware of. And very quickly, there are three types of taxes you need to know. Number one, capital gains tax. There will be no capital gains tax because the treasuries usually only pay periodic interest and are redeemed at face value. So capital gains tax is not applicable for non-US residents in this context. Next, withholding tax on income received or what I like to call it the dividend withholding tax. As I've mentioned, since T-bonds and T-notes pay periodic interest like a dividend, they are treated as a US source interest income. So that will be tax accordingly. But if you come from a country with no tax treaty with the US, for example Malaysia or Singapore, then that withholding tax will come at a rate of 30%. Yes, 30% on the income you receive, not to be confused with the total sales proceed. But if you come from a country with a tax treaty with the US, for example Australia, Japan, Netherlands, Ireland, UK etc, then your effective withholding tax rate will definitely be lower than 30%, usually about 15% instead. However, for T-bills, since they do not pay any interest and are only redeemed at face value by the US government on maturity date, after tons and tons of readings and research, I have come to a conclusion that there are no applicable withholding taxes on the income from T-bills. You can also see this excerpt from page 11 of the US IRS publication 519, which states, non-resident aliens, i.e. me and you non-US residents, are taxed on our income from sources within the US and on certain income, blah, blah, blah. Generally, US source interest income includes the following items, interest on bonds, notes or other interest-bearing obligations of US residents or domestic corporations. Now, the keyword here is bonds and notes. Notice they didn't mention treasury bills, right? Yeah, that probably tells us that we don't have to pay. But feel free to comment down below if you understand it otherwise. After all, I'm not a qualified tax advisor, so I highly recommend you to also read about it online and verify my research. And the last tax that you need to be aware of is the estate tax. And for those of you that are not aware yet, estate tax is a tax of up to 40% imposed on your US assets upon your death, which includes your US stocks, ETS, treasuries, etc. And since we are on the topic of treasury, in general, most treasury bills, notes and bonds are not considered under the estate tax calculation, except except for treasury bills of less than 183 days or 6 months in duration. Why? 
I will not waste your time by going into the details because these are short term investments anyway. So I will leave a link down below for you to read in case you are interested. So that wraps up this tutorial for now. Hopefully I was able to help you kickstart or at least understand more about investing in the US treasuries. And of course, if you would like to support the channel, a quick tap of the like and subscribe button and also checking out interactive brokers in a pinned comment down below will help me out a lot. Thanks for watching and as usual, I will see you in the next one.